Welcome back now at 11. And for the first time ever, the state budget includes money specifically for security at Jewish schools. But some organizations are not exactly happy about it. CBS 4's Vanessa Boers reports from the Miami Beach JCC. Children rushed out of their classrooms fear that a bomb will go off. This is the reality for South Florida's Jewish community. David Posnack Jewish Day School in Davie knows it all too well. The school was evacuated multiple times this year because of threats. We've been ready, uh, ready kind of for any challenge, um, but unfortunately it was uh, a busy couple months. But Florida lawmakers have taken action to ensure security at Jewish schools in the state. In the $82.4 billion state budget that passed on Monday, the legislator earmarked $654,000 for video cameras, fences, bulletproof glass, and alarm systems. Um, I think it's great that the government is supporting the community and recognizing the threat, you know, the unique threat that we were facing at the time and um, helping us strengthen our schools and institutions, synagogues, so parents can feel comfortable sending their kids just to learn and not worry about security. But the funds have raised some questions about why the government is helping schools serving just one religion. Wilfredo Ruiz from the Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE. The Sikh community, the Muslim community, have also suffered many threats and in some cases even hate crimes as grave as a mosque being arson. Ruiz hopes that changes are made to the budget before it's official. Uh, we're going to work towards that to try to get a more inclusive bills that includes any center of worship or religious school that have been threatened. The funding still has to be approved by Governor Rick Scott, who has yet to sign off on the budget. In Miami Beach, Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News Tonight.